podcast. Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to another Beekeeping Basics. So today we're going to take a look at a colony that has a drone laying queen. Uh, what's happened is uh, this colony has a new queen. She started laying um, okay a few weeks ago but subsequently has um, developed to a point where she's only laying unfertilized eggs. Now that could be because she's not mated properly, it could be because something's gone wrong in the mating process or just some other um, biological malfunction I guess you'd call it. Um, anyway we're going to get into the hive and, and take a look at it. Um, I'm going to show you some of the combs so that you can identify a drone laying queen and we're going to see if we can find her uh, and we'll go through the steps of what you can do to rectify the situation before the season finishes. So stick with us and we'll take a look at that just now. So one of the first clues that you'll see with the drone laying colony is, uh, if I can show it through the frames is that you will notice that the brood um, has been marked with drone brood in irregular places. Um, normally you'd expect to find drone brood in clumps but here what we have is drone brood that's appeared across the tops of the frames even before we've opened the colony up for an inspection. I don't know whether you can see down in between the frames, but what we're watching, what we're seeing here is drone brood at the top of the frames and what appears to be scattered um, throughout the frames. So we'll open up the colony now, take some frames out and then we can show you exactly what it looks like. Okay, so here we've got a frame, first frame out, and you can see that the drone brood is scattered across the frame. There's no worker brood here, and mm -hmm. the queen is just laying mm -hmm. eggs in random positions, and it's creating these large dome drone cells across all of the frames. So we'll take a, a few more frames out and see if we can show you some others. And here's another good example of uh, an unfortunate case of a drone laying queen. So what we're going to try and do um, is we're going to try and find the queen. Now this is a drone laying queen, not egg laying workers. Uh, and we can tell that um, because in some of the cells mm -hmm. there are just single eggs at the bottom of the cells. With egg laying workers you're likeliest to find um, multiple eggs uh, towards the side bottom of the, the cell. The workers can't um, push their abdomens to the bottom of the cell in order to, to lay an egg at the bottom of the cell so you will see multiple eggs laid uh, along the sides of the cells rather than in the bottom of the cells. And this is workers um, competing with each other to produce offspring. So we're now going to um, go through the colony and see if we can find the queen uh, and then we'll take it from there. Okay so I've been through the colony twice now and uh, we've not been able to find the queen so um, my thought is that she's probably a very small queen and um, similar size to a worker and therefore we've just missed her as we've looked through. So what I'm going to do by way of an experiment because the bees are um, trying to um, produce queen cells um, but because they have no viable eggs um, the queen cells are just being torn down and contain uh, drone brood. So um, what I'm going to do is take a frame of uh, worker eggs from another colony 
one that uh, I'm happy with and that I'd like to produce another queen from and we're going to pop it into this hive and then uh, give it a week and we'll come back and take a look and hopefully be able to show you uh, that they're producing queen cells. So uh, I'm just going to um, pause and go and get a frame from another colony. Okay, so we've got a frame from one of our stronger colonies. Uh, this has eggs in it and uh, some young larvae. So we're going to pop this into our drone laying queen colony and see if the uh, workers will produce queen cells from it. Uh, they have been attempting to produce queen cells, so I'd expect them to seize the opportunity and we'll continue to, to have a look uh, next time through to see if we can see the old queen. Um, but watch this space, we'll come back to you in a week or so and um, uh, hopefully we'll have some queen cells to show you.